So after the two legacy Sims 4 kits had leaked, we now have an official announcement from EA. Every single time a Sims 4 kit gets leaked, always, always, always the very next day they officially announce it. So we have got so much information about the two brand new kits coming out, including every single objects and some brand new screenshots. So this is the official article on the EA website, On Point Looks and New Party Vibes. The Urban Homage, homage, however you call it, I I can't, I don't even care. You guys, you guys love mansplaining to me how to pronounce homage or homage, I don't care anyway. And Party Essential kits are coming to The Sims 4. And this is the first initial leaked screenshot we saw before of the urban homage kits with some brand new outfits. They've said the party is just getting started. Step onto the scene in the trendiest threads and set the stage for unforgettable celebrations this season in The Sims 4. With The Sims 4 urban homage and Party Essentials kits, players can star their Sims in Simmer and gaming content creator. Ebonix's favourite London city inspired fashion and deck out party venues with festive decor for electrifying celebrations that will get Sims buzzing. So this is a brand new screenshot that we can see here. Now guys, okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think I'm very excited. She's, I can see right here, a tracksuit. Yes, I can. I'm very much hoping we get this for male Sims. I'm going to cry if we don't get this for male Sims because this is incredible. I'm desperate for a new tracksuit, like a trendy fashion one in the game for ages so i really hope that male seems can have it too we also seem to have this it's like jeans and then we've got a crop denim top on top of that one here we've then got a new outfit here i don't even know what you call a top like that it looks pretty cool and then we got some jeans it seems we seem to have this top here which is like a t-shirt with the denim what do you call those like a denim vest top thing that's open an open shirt that's pretty cool then we've got these trousers it does look it looks very 90s actually and then we got this one here we've got this crop top here in these jeans that we saw before is this outfit new in this man here on the right the guy giving the side eye i think it is new and oh there we go 90s vibes just what i said and vibrant motifs dressed to impress with the sims 4 urban homage kit created in collaboration with multi-award winning gaming content creator blah 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 turn heads and make your sims stand out as the ultimate virtual star icon with looks that offer a fresh take on nostalgic london city inspired 90s and noughties fashion. Apparently noughties is a UK word. I guess in the US you guys call this Y2K. Anyway, with lively patterns, vibrant graffiti motives and eye-catching accessories. These modern looks are bold, unapologetic, inspired by a time and place near and dear to Eminix. With striking ensembles and statement pieces such as iconic overalls, butterfly tops, eye-catching layered jewellery and glamorous new nails, Sims can confidently strut in style and express their individuality in more ways than ever before. She said the kit is inspired by urban chic culture and here is everything that's coming in the kit so it's coming with 29 items which i'm pretty sure is more than even a couple of stuff back so that's always good we've got this top on the left here i'm not gonna lie this top looks like um it looks like i don't really understand this kind of fashion but it reminds me of like if you ask an ai art to do something and it gets it a bit wrong like the straps on the, the wrong side <laughs> And then we've got this oversized top here. Oh, look, it's got the bunny in it. That's pretty cool. The freezer bunny from The Sims 4. It looks like we've got new nails. It looks like we've got this here. Is this like a basketball jersey or something? I'm not quite sure. There's a skirt we've seen. There's a new jacket we've got. We've got another crop top. We've got some earrings. We've got some jeans here, which are like slits down the side. And then we've got this top here, which I think is the one that's supposed to go with it. We've got some new shorts here, some colorful ones. We've got some jewelry here, which is pretty cool. We've got some new heels. We got some joggers, which I like. We got a new crop top. We got this top, which I think is supposed to go with the joggers. We've got this top here, which is, I guess, the one that was really vibrant. We've got some new piercings, which is pretty cool. It looks like we've got some jeans, which are rolled up at the bottom. We've got, I actually don't know what this is called. Somebody tell me what this is called. We've got a, like, a butterfly crop top. Everyone's going to be saying, this fairies, fairies hint. <laughs> it might be, who knows. Then we've got this top here. I'm not going to lie, I'm not too keen on that. I'm not too keen on the overalls. I'm not too keen on these trousers or this top here. We've got some new jewellery though, these necklaces which are quite cool. A brand new pair of jeans and then we've got a layered shirt with a t-shirt underneath which I quite like. Now a lot of this, my immediate thought is, oh gosh, there's nothing for male sims. This t-shirt here, this t-shirt here will definitely be unisex. The joggers have to be unisex and the shorts. So it might just be that the preview image is for female sims but I'm sure a lot of 
these will be available in the masculine category too. In general though, I will say I'm quite excited. Obviously this is inspired a lot by British fashion. Urban fashion in general is extremely popular in the UK. So I think it will be exciting to see. Honestly, I'm a little bit annoyed that there isn't a tracksuit top for male sims and there's only a female one, like the joggers for both, but the upper one is clearly for female only sims because as you can see in the preview image here, it has a, what's it called? Like a bralette or something, I don't know. So I'm a little bit annoyed about that. It does feel like it was made for female sims. The Sims 4 is men phobic. Yes, it is. I personally would have liked to have a full body tracksuit for male sims, not just one that works only for female sims with the joggers being remeshed for masculine sims. Afterwards, I, I just don't like it that way. That's my only criticism of the kit, I will be honest. I feel like kits need to be 50-50 unless they are gender specific kits. That's my personal opinion. Because excluding all of like the more neutral things that can be worn by both male and female sims, it looks like there's roughly 15 things which appear to be for feminine frames, whereas seven for masculine. So that's male sims getting half of what female sims would get. I personally don't like that, especially with urban fashion, I will be honest, but I think this stuff looks nice. And then of course, we've got the next kit, the Party Essentials Kit, Celebrate with Flair. So you can see here, we've got the backdrops like we saw before, like new curtains, mosaic wall, slider panel things. It looks like we've got a lot of different balloons. It looks like we've got a non-functional drinks tray. I said this would be a light thing, but you guys said this was like a smoke projector. I doubt it would be a smoke projector because Sims 4 kits typically do not come with brand new gameplay and a smoke projector like with smoke coming out would be new. I just doubt they would ever do that. It seems like we've got a new light though which is cool though it doesn't look like it comes with that much. I will be honest. Anyway, amp up your festivities and make your epic parties unforgettable. Whether your sim is hosting a lavish land grab luncheon or raving rager for the roomies and oh, this is so cringe. <laughs> the Sims 4 party's essential kit has every everything you need to make your next celebration the talk of the town. Dazzle and delight with playful party props, including eye-catching streamers and entrancing fog machine. Oh look, there is a fog machine, my bad. <laughs> a versatile bar that can stick around after the party, add some drama to everyday decor with lively and unique new items like a mesmerizing disco ball. The perfect vibe with coordinated party decorations or mix and match to set the mood and make a memorable Instagram post pop. Form your group and let the good times roll in style. And that's the screenshot that I showed you guys yesterday. So these are all the items. So it looks like we're getting a new ceiling light, a new floor lamp and a like a tabletop lamp. And then we've got this thing, which is like the mosaic backdrop, which I assume just goes onto your wall. I, I don't think it's going to be a curtain. I reckon that's just purely a backdrop itself. Then we've got the disco ball and then it looks like we got the fog machine. I'm going to be very curious if this is actually functional because as far as I'm aware, we don't have fog machines in any other packs. Forgive me if I'm wrong. We've got this here which looks very strange and I reckon this is going to be a neon light maybe or something and then it looks like we've got a small table here. We've got the confetti you put on the floor. We've got the fake lemonade stand. We've got a bulletin ball thing which is very random. We've got a wall speaker. It looks like, is this a new TV? Like a glowing curved TV because that's quite cool. I think it is actually. Look at this screenshot. It's got the LED lights in the back. That's actually really cool. I like that. This square thing, I have no idea what this is going to be. It could be like some special kind of debug lighting. I don't know. Looks like we've got napkins and things as a decoration, a curtain here. We've got neon light, which is pretty sure there's different swatches because this one here is a butterfly, but then this one here is a rabbit. So there'll be different swatches. You guys are saying, oh my God, such as fairy hints. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Oh, look, it's fairy hint. Then it looks like we've got a new bar. We've got lots of those. We've got a curved thing. I don't know what that would be. Maybe to attach the curtains. And then we've got a curtain here and another one here. We've got an old record player stand here. Balloon on the floor, uh, wall, I don't know what it is, like a canvas. We've got a brand new table. We've got balloons for walls and balloons for the flooring too. I'm just thinking guys, like it's so, like the Sims 4, you can't really have parties. Like it's not built with parties in mind. So I'm just thinking like, what are you even gonna do with all this stuff? Because if you've got the get together pack, which comes with nightclubs, that pretty much comes with all the party stuff you need. So I'm not really sure exactly like where this is gonna be useful. I'm not sure how often people are gonna use it or if anybody's gonna make use 
most of it, but I guess that's the thing with kits. They're very specific and niche. Honestly, I don't know which one I'm gonna like more because originally I said I will probably not like the Party Essentials kit, but I will really love this one. But this one doesn't really seem to come with that much stuff for masculine Sims, which is who I normally play with. I know you, I play with Shanice on YouTube, but normally I play with other Sims as well when I'm playing off camera. So I don't really know if I personally will like this one as much because I know a lot of female Sims too who say like, I want to play more with male Sims, but there's literally nothing good. And I feel like an urban kit would have been the best for male Sims. So I will be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed, but we're going to have to wait and see when it actually comes out. You guys tell me which one you're more excited for. I really want to know. And um, please make sure you subscribe so you do not miss any future updates, including my review of these two kits when they come out. And they will be out on the 18th of April. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.